Good morning. <clears throat> Welcome. It's Friday, my normal day of doing devotions. <clears throat> the um, readings today uh, for both of our devotions um, are from the book of Luke, chapter 1. I'm going to wait just a bit here. It's a beautiful, sunshiny day out there. Now that we've had our last bit of winter, we hope. We needed the snow, but um, hopefully now the weather will start warming up and looking forward to all of that. So, devotions today. Both of them are actually from the same reading, so yay. Um, so, let's get started. And I will read from Luke 1, starting with verse 26. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now, your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her who is said to be barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Word of God, Word of Life. Our Christ in Your Home devotional today is entitled The Annunciation, Annunciation of Our Lord, which today is that day. And it's on verse 28. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. Gabriel was an important messenger from God. Can you hear the excitement in his voice? He knows he has the most important and life-changing message for Mary. And the world. In his greeting, Gabriel calls Mary favored and affirms that God is with her. Indeed, that's how God begins with each of us. God is excited to greet us, to remind us that we're chosen, and to stay with us. By many standards, Mary was an unlikely choice for such a vital calling. She was poor, young, and female, characteristics seen by many as disqualifying. As Mary did at first, I easily focus on my own limitations and the reasons I don't think I fit God's plan. But God sees things differently. God loved Mary, was with her, and chose her to carry the Son of God into the world. And God sees us differently too. As our Creator, God loves us, is with us, and chooses us to carry Jesus into the world around us. <clears throat> Join me in the prayer. God, thank you for choosing me like you chose Mary. In Jesus' name, amen. And the prayer concern is for those who are pregnant. Our Christ, our Christ in our home, our turning toward God's abundance the Lent devotion. Um, today's is written by Sherry Sorensen, and hers is entitled, I, Willing Spirit. Uh, focus first on the last one, 38. Then Mary said, Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Sherry writes, I have a life application study Bible that gives some good insight. The commentary on this verse really jumped out at me. A young, unmarried girl who became pregnant risked disaster. Joseph could decide not to marry her. Her father could reject her and then she would be homeless and may have to resort to some unsavory ways to support herself and her child. 
Still, knowing the consequences, she makes the statement, let it be with me according to your word. Was she crazy? If I had just been told that I was going to become pregnant by God and give birth to his son, I may have said, what? Wait a minute. What do I tell all my friends and especially Joseph and my parents? I'm not sure about this. Thank goodness Mary was the one chosen to be given the privilege and awesome responsibility to carry, deliver, and raise the Son of God. There have been times in my life when I didn't understand what God was asking me to do, but I did it anyway, sometimes reluctantly. By doing what I thought God was asking me to do, I experienced many blessings along the way. Sometimes it seemed like there were more challenges than blessings, but after I went through those challenges, I realized they revealed blessings. Mary, I'm sure, experienced blessings and challenges, but at that moment when the angel Gabriel came to bring her the good news, she chose to focus on God's abundance of love and protection. What a wonderful example of a person willing to follow and trust God in his word. May it be with me also. Please join me in Sherry's prayer. Lord, I pray that I willingly respond when you call me to serve you. And her prayer concern here is to grant a willing heart to those who are listening for your call to service. Thank you, Sherry. So it's Friday. So my usual stuff, uh, Sunday worship, eight or nine and 1045 in our sanctuary and at 9 a.m. on our digital channels. Um, not much else to say today, I don't think so. So blessings on your day. Enjoy the beautiful weather. Take a stroll outside. Um, and we'll see you again soon. Bye.